the Experience Pros Radio Show, home of the original Fan Bragging Fridays. Take just 20 seconds to become a revolutionary by sharing a Fan Bragging story of great customer service on Facebook.com slash Experience Pros. Now, back to Angel and Eric, the Experience Pros. Hey, America, does telling your story so it gets heard, understood, and remembered sometimes feel like Mission Impossible? Jerry Brown of Jerry Brown PR can help. Jerry's here on the Experience Pros every every week at this time with a tip to help you tell your story. Welcome back, Jerry. What's our business tip this week? Well, this week it's listen to what you write because good writing is like you were talking about music a minute ago. Mm. Well, good writing is like good music in that it has a very natural rhythm. I heard that. Yeah, and so... You know, one of the things that I have learned over the years is that if it doesn't sound right, it's time to pick up the editing pencil and start working on it because there's something there that's just not quite right. Does this mean we should read it out loud to ourselves or just... Uh, you know, I, I will sometimes read things out loud to myself, or sometimes I kind of read it aloud in my head, if you know what I mean. But I do still listen to it uh, in my head. So, Jerry, where do we start? Well, one of the great places to start is to look at your punctuation and whether your periods, commas, and dashes uh, are, are at places where there's a natural place to breathe because that's a lot of what the rhythm of talking is about. Mm. You know, we put on paper, we use things like periods and commas, mm -hmm. but we also speak them in that that's where we draw our breath. And you wouldn't think of drawing a breath for something when you're, when you're doing some writing, storytelling. You wouldn't necessarily, I think, naturally put those breathing spaces in there. Except I think your brain needs to breathe a little bit, too, because, you know, if you keep a long sentence going, not only can you not breathe, but your brain needs a stopping place to absorb it and move on. You know, I, 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 had, I have to just segue for just a second. I'm, I'm reading two different authors, James Patterson and Clive Custler, and I like James Patterson much better because of the cadence of mm -hmm. his writing style. Is that what you're talking about? Absolutely. You know, and, um, you know, every writer has a different cadence, uh, just as we all have a different cadence with our speaking. So it's not like it all has to be exactly alike, but it ought to sound right. And if it doesn't, you'll hear, you know, poetry uh, uses rhymes and fixed meter. Uh, well, you don't have to do that with your writing, but you'll hear it if it's not if it's not right, if it just doesn't quite... And it just, it kind of takes your writing up a notch. It goes from being very professional and what your reader will stay tuned into. Absolutely. Versus really looking like you just hacked that together. You know, and I talk sometimes about, I've talked on here about turning commas into periods and, sure. and short sentences. You know, if you have too many long sentences, people won't be able to breathe. And if somebody's reading it aloud, including you or speaking aloud, you won't be able to breathe. Your sentences are too long. Uh, He's looking at me. Them up. Try breaking them into two or three Eric, sentences. Eric writes a lot of long I, I, sentences. I do. And, you know, I used to be a speech writer, which is one of the places I really learned to be or to listen to what I was writing because I was writing it to be spoken. And I actually learned about something uh, while I was a speech writer that at the time that I just started doing it naturally, I didn't know what it had a name, but it does. It's called the rule of threes. Mm. And it's something, you know, like truth, justice, and the American way, or red, white, and blue. Well, Jerry, why does that work, the, the, this uh, this rule of threes? Why, why does that work? You know, I have absolutely no idea. <laughs> <laughs> but it does. Well, take it from, from Jerry Brown PR. And you can find this article and all of his, um, everything that he talks about every week here on, on the Experience Pros Radio Show at jerrybrownpr.com. And I love that you give a companion article to storytelling. Absolutely love to tell stories. Well, thank you for helping us tell ours. It is important in your business. You know, the late journalist, the screenwriter and Denver native Gene Fowler once said, writing is easy. All you have to do is stare at a blank sheet of paper until drops of blood form on your forehead. Keep your forehead dry. Instead, hire Jerry Brown of Jerry Brown PR to help you write your blog posts, social media postings, articles, press releases, PowerPoint presentations, and more. And he can edit what you've already written. Jerry Brown at jerrybrownpr.com. You can reach Jerry at jerry at jerrybrownpr.com or give him a call at 303-594-8016. 303-594-8016. One six.
Oh, that was excellent. And I love the theme music because when we're talking about that rhythm and poetry, and we even talk about theme music. Right. When you hear that music, you know it's time to learn about your storytelling tips from Jerry Brown. And there's something that I think we can all take away. We all think, I think we all think we're good writers. Right. You know, when it, it, not like professional writers, but that what we write sounds good. And when I read some of the things, I remember some early emails that I would get from you, Eric. Careful. They were a little lengthy. Careful. I'm just going to say, they were a little lengthy. And so but when they you, were grammatically correct. When, yes, I'm quite certain <laughs> for whom which they were written for. Hey, hey, hey. The Experience Pros are here to help you get your business right. To learn more, visit experiencepros.com.